Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a repeating rainbow type pattern in Photoshop. If you would like the design files for this tutorial, uh, be sure to check out my Patreon page where I upload all of the uh, design files for um, all of my tutorials here on YouTube. If you'd like to uh, support this channel, go ahead and check that out and I will leave a link to uh, my Patreon page in the description below. In Photoshop, let's go ahead and create a new file. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the dimensions of 2400 pixels by 2400 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. I'm going to unselect artboards. Color mode is RGB color and then background content set to transparent. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on create. First off, I'm going to uh, create a circle. So using the ellipse tool, which is uh, U on the keyboard, if you want to toggle between it, you can go shift U and then getting to uh, the ellipse tool here, you can also right click to select the tool. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on the canvas here. I'm going to use 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels here. And then I'm going to center it on the canvas. We're going to go Marquee Tool, Command A, a V for the Move Tool. That just gives us the option to get these Align Tools here. And then just deselecting Command D. And I have it positioned in the center on my canvas here. I'm going to go ahead and select a color for this object. Let's go ahead and make it red here. And then I'm going to add duplicate this layer, Command or Control J. And then let's go ahead and give a, another color. We'll go with orange and then I'm going to uh, size this one down. So I'm going to go Command or Control T and then I'm making sure this icon is selected so it scales evenly. I'm going to go uh, down to 75% here. From here, clicking on my original layer here, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer, Command or Control J. Let's bring it to the top and then I'm going to uh, make this yellow and then let's go ahead and scale it down, Command or Control T, and we'll do 50% uh, on this one here. I'm going to go ahead and select all these layers, uh, Shift click, and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to rasterize layers. From the top ruler here, I'm going to go ahead and pull down a guideline that is aligned to the center there. Selecting my first layer here, I'm going to uh, get the marquee tool and then I'm just going to go ahead and drag out a rectangle here, highlighting, um, making sure it extends to that guideline. And then with this layer selected, I'm just gonna go Command or Control J and that is just going to, if I turn this off, that's just going to create a duplicate of just the half part of the circle. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this circle here. And then we have our orange circle selected. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, marquee duplicating this command or control J. I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer and then having my red circle here selected, I'm going to go do that one more time. Command J and then we can just delete this layer here. So we have our half circle and then they are each their own layer here. That way you can easily change the colors if you want to there. And then let's go ahead and convert this to a smart object by selecting all the layers, shift click, and then just go right click, convert to smart object. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this smart object here, command or control J using the move tool V here. I'm just going to align uh, one of these here to the center and then I'm going to bring this to the side. Before I do that, I'm going to select this here and I'm going to bring out some guides. And these guides just help you when positioning your object here. So grabbing the second one, I'm going to uh, position there. Uh, before positioning this one, I'm actually going to uh, bring it above our layer and then I'm going to position it down. That way I can see how much uh, yellow I want to be showing in my uh, rainbow pattern here. So let's just uh, duplicate this layer, Command or Control J. We'll bring it out to the side to get it to connect here. And then because we're using a half circle, we'll have to add a color fill layer here. 
selecting our yellow color and then I'm just going to drag that to the bottom here that way we fill out the bottom of that circle there selecting my two layers here and then I can just kind of play with how far down I want to make this and then you can keep going until you uh, see, can't go any further because you hit the bottom of it and then you can just bring it up if you want more space or if you want less you can just kind of change the position there uh, once you have that selected I'm just going to click off here and then I'm going to select one of these rainbows here and then I'm just going to bring down a guide and that's just going to mark our area here selecting my marquee tool I'm on the keyboard I'm just going to drag out a rectangle shape here uh, selecting a new layer I'm going to go I'm just going to select a color here and then I'm going to go I'm going to go Option Delete for Mac or Alt Backspace for PC and then just fill in that rectangle here. I'm going to go ahead and deselect Command or Control D, V to access the Move tool and then I'm just going to align that here and then grab my guide to um, denote the bounds of the top here and then I can just turn off that layer there. With my bottom to rainbows here. I'm going to go ahead and du duplicate these Commander Control J. I'm going to go ahead and bring them up until they align to my grids here. And then I'm going to uh, bring them to the bottom in my layers panel so it sits behind. Selecting off here. Accessing my marquee tool again. Let's go M on the keyboard. Using those uh, guidelines, I'm just going to draw out my rectangle here. And then I'm going to define this pattern, edit, define pattern. You can give your pattern a name and then just click on OK. And then pulling up my patterns panel here, I can see my newly created pattern here. Testing out this pattern, I'm going to go to new documents. So we'll go file new. This time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color, and then background content set to transparent, and then just click to create. For this, I'm going to use a pattern adjustment layer, selecting OK, and then we'll just select our new pattern here in the patterns panel. If you do not see that your patterns panel, you can go to window and select patterns here. Clicking on the pattern layer here, you always have the option to uh, change the scale of your pattern. If we go down to 50% here, and then uh, with this dialog box open, you could always uh, move around the or orientation of how it lays on your canvas here. If you want to get back to the original, just click on Snap to Origin. And then we'll just go ahead and click on OK. And then to uh, save this as digital scrapbook paper, you're going to go to File, Export, Export As. Here under file settings, you can change the file format. In this case, we are going to use JPEG. And then with digital scrapbook paper, generally you want higher quality, so you can bring up the quality here. Um, just note the higher the quality, the larger the file size. And then just scrolling down, I like to make sure embed color profile selected, and then you just can click to export your pattern. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun repeating rainbow pattern in Adobe Photoshop. Again, if you want access to all the design files for my tutorials, then you can join me over on Patreon. I will leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you for the support. It helps me to keep making these tutorials. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.